بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد the dua of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we have been encouraged to make this dua Allahumma habib ilayna al-Iman Allah make Iman beloved to us wa zayyinhu fi qulubina and adorn our hearts let our hearts be drowning with Iman and the love of Allah wa karih ilayna al-kufra wal-fusuq wal-isyan Ya Allah make us hate let us despise let the abhorrence uh, of of kufr, of fusuk, defiance, rebellion, disbelief, sinning, avert us from all of this, ya Allah. Let the uh, the detest and and, and the, the the evil of this, let the gr greatness of these things come out of our hearts, and let us start despising it وَجْعَلْنَا مِنَ الرَّاشِدِينَ and Ya Allah, Hidayat is in your hands guide us to the straight path make us from amongst the rightly guided Shaitan thrives on occasions on moments where the Ummah when the people of Iman will engage in sin and Ma'asya and look forward to the festivals of the people of Kufr and Shirk and disbelieve and that's why he wants to gift people what gives this time of the year, the so-called festive season. Why? Because it is a celebration of his success. And that's why we find this time of the year, especially when it is a holiday time. That's why Mawlana Malassan used to say that most of the fitness of the Ummah is present today because the Ummah does not know what to do with their free time. So Saturdays, uh, the climax of the week for sin and disobedience. Likewise, December and the climax of that is from the Christmas to the New Year where Guna reaches its peak. This is the same time of the year Allah protect us where parents send their own kids which is the responsibility to preserve their deen for dunya and akhirah to say go, go on holiday, go with your friends enjoy yourself we are financing the destruction we are ruining the akhirat it's as if we are sending our own kids to the slaughterhouse of shaitan how much money do you need how much what what else do you need go enjoy yourself how dark must the hearts be that we send our children our assets our greatest assets to the dens of vice. I trust my child. Can we even trust ourselves? The Mashaykh cried for their own protection. Your daughter who has been given to you as an amana, she's sealed, she's preserved, she's chaste, yet we allow them in the company of strangers where their modesty is breached. What ghayrat? What honor do we have as Muslims? Is shayateen not with them? Is the nafs not with them? Do they have immunity from sin? The sin is, is a means of destruction. And that's why the Mashaykh used to say, إِذَا رَأَيْتَ الرَّجُلُ يَعْمَلُ الْحَسَنَ فَعْلَمْ أَنَّ لَهَا عِنْدَهُ أَخَوَاتِ When you see a person doing good deeds, remember the brothers of good means he's, he's encouraged to good and he will encourage others to do good. And when you see a person doing a sin, no, they are brothers and sisters to the seer. It's connected. فَإِنَّ الْحَسَنَةَ تَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ أُخْتِهَا Good draws good, evil draws evil. Sending them to the places of destruction and expecting good to come out of it is folly. Abu Azim used to say, إِذَا رَأَيْتَ اللَّهَ عز وجل يُتَابِعُ نِعْمَهُ عَلَيْكَ وَأَنْتَ تَعَسِهِ فَحْذَرْهُ If you see Allah showering bounties on you on the condition that you disobey Allah then be very fearful, be very weary, be very cautious that bounties are not bounties, it is for your destruction. Ibn Abbas used to say 
inna lil hasana dhiya fil wajh when you do good deeds when you promote good when you enjoin good when you love for good nuran fil qalb it is a shine you can see the brilliance on the face and the brilliance on the heart wa sa'atan fi rizq and baraka in rizq wa quwwatan fil badan and your body will feel strong and you will feel energetic and you will feel vibrant and you will feel vigorous wa mahabbatan fi qulub al khalq and the creation will love you but when you commit guna and ma'sia and sin sawadan fil wajh blackness in the face wa dhulmatan fil qalb darkness in the heart wa wahnan fil badan you feel lethargic tired all the time no baraka in time no baraka in health wa nuqsan fi rizq and your rizq or you'll be deprived wa bughdan fi qulub al khalq and slowly slowly the creation will start hating you to such an extent that even the the animals and the farishtas in all the creations of Allah start despising this person as the blood name Masood has mentioned إِذَا ظَهَرَ الزِّنَا وَالْرِبَا فِي قَرْيَةٍ when zina and uh, interest becomes common فَقَدْ أَحَلُّوا بِأَنفُسِهِمْ عَذَابَ اللَّهِ they have made halal the adab and the calamities of Allah so these festivals, these celebrations have nothing to do with Islam. Forget Islam, nothing to do with Christianity. It is celebrating idol worship. It is celebrating shirk. It is celebrating Iblis. This is Satanism in the pure sense. So we make a dua in every rakat of salah. It is a requirement. It is a prerequisite. Ihdina sirat al mustaqim. Allah guide us what? Ghayr al maghdubi alayhim wa ladalin. Not as the Jews and the Christians were misguided. These are people that worshipped Allah but they never accepted the truth. Imagine if we are not supposed to imitate any religion no matter what goodness is portrayed then the very next level of shirk how worse is that satanic worse uh, worship how worse is that reverence and honoring and devotion to shirk and satanic worship if this is our dua then forget that nowadays in the name of religion the Abrahamic accord and we need to unite on one front this is again satanic worship and satanism in the pure sense there is no compromise of deen lakum deenukum wal yadeen I've got my deen you've got your deen if you want to do what you want to do what you wish I will not compromise on the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why shaitan indoctrinates people of his worship and the climax of his celebration that now I have achieved my target then you, when you have a target you celebrate and that's New Year's Eve the fire works the fire and that's why Christmas theme is redness is making a fool of ourselves we should not be gullible and taken aback by the splotting of shaitan and iblis we shouldn't be naive like a teacher asked the student did your father help you with your homework last night he said no he did it all he did it all don't be so naive which chapter are we on? By default, by default, we have to realize it is the plotting of shaitan. Like the school children who ask to talk about something exciting that had happened to them recently. So a small boy put up his hand and announced, my father fell down a mine shaft last week. So the teacher was shocked. Oh dear, is he all right now? So the boy replied, he must be, he stopped yelling for help yesterday. Means he went out with his father somewhere alone. 
his father fell in the mine shaft and he didn't inform anybody about it darkness upon darkness riwayat of uh, umar bi, uh, khattab radiyallahu an hazrat umar bin khattab radiyallahu an bayhaqi imam bukhari has mentioned it ijtanibu a'da allah fi idihim stay far be weary of the enemies of allah especially on their moments of festivities and celebration stay far nauzu billah we send our youth we go to those places of celebration we show them the christmas tree we show them the so called father satan clause and we encourage them to be part of that abu al hasan al amadi mentioned and Imam Ahmad has conferred with us la yajuzu shuhu do aya din nasara wal yahud it is not permissible to witness the festivities of the Jews and Christians wahtajja bi qawli wal ladhina la yashhadun az zur those people of iman as such they do not be part of ayadihim their festivities abdul malik ibn habib has mentioned that when he was asked ibn qasim that can you mount the conveyance whether going on their ships on their planes on their buses so you are going somewhere else but they are going to their place of eid of celebration fakariha dhalika he said stay far away from that why fa makhafata nuzul sakhata alayhim bi shirkihim because it should not happen that they are going to those places of vice and allah's azab comes to you as well so be cautious and he has mentioned it is also the slight and a bold that a believer gives any haja or gift to a non muslim on any any occasion why min ta'zim idihi because you are honoring their festivity wa awnan lahu ala kufrihi and you are assisting their kufr it is not permissible for a muslim to sell to transact anything connected to the occasions the fuqaha have mentioned not even meat not even clothing not even assisting in renting out your vehicles your conveyance no connection whatsoever to such an extent it is mentioned man ahda lahum yawm eidihim bitiha bikazd ta'zim al eid faqad kafar if you give them a haja just to honor these special days then there are severe warnings so from the satan clause to the elves what are the elves these are jinna they the helpers the the the, the shayatin of iblis yes is jamaats in the dictionary it is a supernatural creature of folk tales and uh, they are elusive they've got pointed ears they've got magical powers they capricious in nature what is this referring to this elf characters whether you go on the scandinavian or celtic cultures where they encourage elves fairies spirits it's all shayatin it's 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 demons it's evil they are the helpers of iblis so if we look at this small devils then uh, in a in a christmas card from austria in the past they would have the big black horned krampus and that was the demon that came what sent us so in those days the bag of switches it was for children that don't behave he would kidnap them but this santa's little helper became the elves at the north pole the same helper which was in a demonic form was the helper of 
shaitan. And if we look at it, the photo of Saint Nicholas, where we get Santa Claus, which is another uh, detail historians have mentioned. The name Nicholas in Greek is, Greek is Nikolaus, which means the one who rules over people. So the word Santa means holy. In Latin, the holy one who rules over people. Who's the holy one who rules over people? It is Iblis. So instead of uh, the, the, the true Ambiya, thus Shaitan wants to rule over people. And that's the coming of Dajjal. So this, this Latin language is, is the same language when they, they make satanic rituals. The words are in Latin, whether it's witchcraft, whether it's spells, incantations, etc. The Latin language, its roots are connected to paganism. So, uh, even in Latin, if you look at uh, the letters for Satan, uh, is uh, Santa, holy. So, all connected to Shaitan. Even the, the, the sweets that they are giving you, the candy, cane, stripes and colors, if you look at it, the stripe is uh, connected to the three. And the three represents the Trinity. And uh, Jesus, which they call sacrifice, we say in Isa Islam was not sacrifice, but for us to understand, it was the stripe of the blood of Jesus, Nauzubillah. Then the, the candy uh, cane stripes, uh, the, the form, if you look at it, is a J, is, is homage to Jesus. Then where's the North Pole coming from? Where is it uh, originating? So what's, what's the North Pole and all uh, thus been brought in and where is it connected and how is it got to do? If you even ask any Christian, what does Santa Claus have to do with Christmas? What does the North Pole have to do with Christmas? Nobody will give you a clear cut answer whatsoever. But if we go Mount Kof, uh, Jabal -e Kof, uh, Kohe Kof in Persian, etc., is a legendary mountain. And uh, uh, some kitabs have mentioned, ulama have, have debated authenticity, Allahu Alam, but it is the homeland of the jinn. So, this is the furthest point on earth. And if you look at the remoteness and the North Pole, then it is identified with this mountain. And according to the, the account of Hatim Tai as well, it is regarded as the home of the jinn race. And it is a place beyond the unseen world. So, Qaf was amongst the, the highest of mountain ranges created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Saha bil, bil Jibal uh, when, when to stagnate and to st stabilize the earth. Then uh, the, the mountains were placed and these subterranean ranges were there to stabilize the earth. So, so it's, it's, it's a, 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 a mountain uh, connected to the supernatural world whether it's a terrestrial and celestial worlds we establish. And uh, in a kitab, Ajaibul Makhluqat wa Gharaibul Mawjudat, also it is mentioned here that uh, the series of mountains and Mount Qaf is the mountain which, which we stabilized the earth, etc. So if we look at it, the place of origination for the Jinnat and the Shayateen, this is where it uh, originated. So whether it's a satanic rule, whether it initiated from the, the Romans, whether the ancient Greek poets and, and, and historians have written with regards to Saturnalia, where these were occasions where it was intoxication, where people raped, caused uh, sexual abuse, they consumed uh, alcohol, liquor, etc. So this was a plan from Shaitan to establish his, his control. And if we go uh, back in history with Constantine, where the Christian church now was legitimized 
and the Roman gods era ended and he wanted to bring this in in, in, in religion at 312 AD where the battle of the throne of Rome and, and, and Satan the, created Constantine where in the name of the church he created the council of Nicaea and uh, Christian, his, his Christentine's job was to mix paganism and to pervert it and, 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 and to corrupt it and uh, he started all of these festivals. So if you go into it also, whether it was the Queen of Heaven and Namrud and the Sun God, they just named it uh, Mary, Baby Jesus. Uh, but it's actually got to do with this pagan festival. And then he had 50 Bibles and manuscripts prepared, which was distributed to cause corruption in the ch church. And if we look at uh, deeper into all of these uh, customs and, and, and rituals. Another name for Satan is Sanat, and he's called Natas, which is a root word for Natasha in Russian, which means Christmas. So just rearranging the words, who is a red suit and claims to be omnipresent? It was the same uh, knows Billah. Allah is all knowing, omnipresent. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you are sleeping. He knows you when you are awake. Again, this is blasphemy to the highest level. And uh, if you look at clause, is an anagram for Lucas. So the secret Lucas, Lucas, the code word for Lucifer. If you look at the New Age Occult uh, Publishing Company, Lucifer Publishing Company as well, connected to the UN, etc., which is a topic on its own. And uh, Anton LaVey, the, the, the Satanic Bible, uh, has written that fantasy plays an important role in curriculum. So all these fantasies of magic, black magic, etc. Uh, the Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, fun and games and, and, and all of this here is connected to that. And 25th of December ranks very high in the satanic calendar as well. So whether that and if we look at it, then we've got Christmas in June, Christmas in July, Christmas in uh, September, uh, so it's rotating all around the year and it's all about uh, Israf wastage. 22% uh, of Americans believe Christmas spending will leave them in debt. Around $1 trillion have been spent and if you look at from 2014 and the increase every year, uh, staggering. So. Americans generally spend around 6.1 billion on Christmas tree alone. There are 25 to 30 million real Christmas trees sold in the U.S. every year. So uh, we need to turn to Allah, repent. This is the moment of getting close to Allah and making Tawbah and not getting close to the instruments of batil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.